No, I love mukbang with the passion. And today I have brought Isn't Tree for you guys. Okay, so I'm excited about this one. It sucks out all the nastiness. It really takes hydration to another level. Please do check this out for Black Friday sale. Let's go. We're all my soul sisters. Let me hear ya flow, sister. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, your sister Yunyan in the house today, and I'm so happy to see you guys. Today is another series for Black Friday, and today I have brought Isn't Tree for you guys. I'm so excited to be able to introduce a little bit about the brand. I'll tell you all the good deals that they're gonna have for Black Friday in different platforms, and also I'm so excited to announce that I'm gonna be doing a giveaway, and we're gonna be choosing 20 unicorns, and I'm so happy every time a brand really um agrees on doing as many as winners as possible it really means a lot because you know that the more chances that you guys can get the products so thank you so much to isn't you for the giveaway and also for sponsoring this video so anyways guys we have a lot of products to get through seven products so we shall get started let's go which means let's get started in Korean all right, so first of all, let me talk about the platforms that you will be seeing all the Black Friday sales and good discounts for Isn't Tree products if you are planning to buy and stock up on Isn't Tree products or if you want to try Isn't Tree products. Amazon's gonna be having a deal, Soko Glam and Style Korean and Jules and Soko Box and Skin Secret and Beauty and Soul. Oh my gosh, Murray! Big shout out to Murray. I miss you so much. And if you haven't seen our our shopping skincare shopping video please do check it out here Murray is amazing but any cowsies I did want to mention these platforms so all my unicorns will have an idea of where you can get the best deals from isn't tree so I will link everything in the description below so please do check it out okay guys so let's talk a little bit about the brand isn't tree of how it started because it is my first time that I'm actually introducing isn't tree uh, with like an official video so I did want to share a little bit about their story so the CEO of isn't tree was actually the first male blogger who talked about the importance of ingredients. So the founder had a lot of knowledge and interest of which skincare ingredients were really good for our skin. Isn't Tree is a brand that started out of the dedication to the principle of preserving one's natural beauty through the use of genuine ingredients in our skincare products. And they're really well known for good quality products that has affordable prices, gentle ingredients, recycling package, and no animal testing. And Isn't Tree has a lot of different lines. They have the hyaluronic line, they have the mugworth line, they also have like a functional uh, line as well. They do have a lot of range of products and I haven't tried every single one of their products but I've tried uh, more than about 15 or so. I wanted to try a wide range before I filmed this video. So I tried their shampoo, I tried their body products, I tried a lot of their skincare products. So I wanted to make sure that I choose the best ones that I really liked from their brand. So I have brought seven for you guys today. So let's get started. All right, guys, so let's move on to the first product. And the first product is something that I already showed you guys on my channel and I talked about it a few times because I loved this cleanser. So the first one is the Isn't Tree Spot Saver Mugworth Powder Wash. So in 2020 on the beauty app Glow Pick, it won the award for the cleanser part. And also in 2020 in Singapore, the top beauty community, Beauty Insiders winner, it was chosen as the best facial cleanser. So these come in these packagings where you can just take it out and it's actually um, individually packed. And they do have like a like a dotted line where you can just rip it off. You don't have to like use your mouth or it's not really uh, difficult to remove. It just psh, opens really easily. And it is a wash cleanser in a powder form. And the best part is it contains um, mugworth, it contains papayan enzymes, it contains sea salt, um, a lot of good ingredients in here too remove dead skin cells, but at the same time to calm your skin. Now, I was very drawn to this brand because number one, I've actually tried so many enzyme powder washes and it's one of my favorite things to um, remove dead skin cells, but I've never tried a mugworth kind. So I was like, oh my gosh, what's the big difference? What does it do differently? And I was really curious with that. And compared to other products that I absolutely love and I do talk about a lot on my channel, I would say that it does remove dead skin cells very 
gently, but calming effect is really good as well. As you guys know, mugwort is such a great ingredient for antibacterial, um, anti-inflammatory effects, and it has a purifying effect too. So of course the enzyme and everything helps to remove dead skin cells, but the mugwort as well helps to purify your skin and just kind of clear your skin as well. And I use this about two to three times a week and it's enough. So I use it um, after doing my first cleanser, I use it as a second cleanser. Depending on your skin condition, you can use it more often, but I have super sensitive skin, so I like using it two to three times a week. And I love that uh, it removes that skin cells on the surface only, so it doesn't irritate your skin. So your skin feels very hydrated afterwards, and it has a slight acidic similar to healthy skin's pH. So I like that as well. And the best way to actually use enzyme powders is to activate it more um, to boost the like synergy effect with steam. So it's the best to use it actually in the shower. Um, all you have to do is just go in the shower and wash your face and it will just kind of activate that enzyme a little bit more. I know that uh, we have a, another professional way to do it when you do go to the dermatologist or when you go to the skincare clinics. In Korea, they get a bowl, they get the powder, they mix it with the brush and then they apply on your skin and then they steam your face with the steamer for a little bit and then they rinse it off. But realistically speaking, we don't have much time to do that at home. You know, because we're like on the go. We have lives and you know, we have to do stuff. So it's actually really good to use this in the shower to maximize the effect. All right, guys, so we're going to move on to the next product. And this is the Isn't Tree Green Tea Fresh Toner. And I absolutely adore this toner. If I do a uh, best uh, toners for 2020 top 10, this will be in my top 10 for sure. This is one of the best discoveries. And I think this is one of the products that made me really like think, wow, Isn't Tree is pretty good. Because a lot of the products are amazing and very gentle, uh, especially for my sensitive acne prone skin. But this is something that I have seen really good results with. So it contains 80% of Jeju green tea. Um, it's so hydrating to your skin. It's very gentle. But what it does really well is that it helps to control sebum. It has its own patent formulation called anti sebum P, which is a combination of four different ingredients that helps to control sebum. So I think this toner will help with oily skin types, oily dehydrated, even combination skin types and dry skin types as well. And I personally love using just my hands with this. I don't like using a toner and a cotton pad these days because my skin is a little bit irritated, but it just soaks into your skin so well. I love doing two to three layers and it just works beautifully on your skin. And this is actually the number two ranking on their site, the best selling product. And this toner is like one of the best selling products uh, from Isn't Trees. And this was actually recommended by my um, subbies because they told me, oh my gosh, have you tried Isn't Trees green? tea toner and I was like oh no I've only tried their like hyaluronic acid line and they're like no 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 you gotta try the green tea toner so it's like okay fine and then yes I really fell in love with it because it does give you a really good balance so of course it can hydrate your skin and it does help to control sebum at the same time so if you do have concerns of um, excessive sebum or if you want to balance out that oil and moisture level this is a great toner to add into your routine all right, guys, so we're going to move on to the next product. And I feel like this is something that does not need a introduction, introduction, because already this is so popular. This is one of the best selling products from Isn't Tree. And I know that a lot of my unicorns love it too. This is the Isn't Tree Hyaluronic Acid Water Essence. And the biggest or the most question that I always get is, Only should I get the Isn't Tree Hyaluronic Acid one or the Mugworth one? And uh, I really like both of them. They are very gentle, good pricing because this is pretty big. Uh, it's 50 milliliters, but you can use it for a very long time because a little goes a long way. Both of them are very hydrating. They're good priced. And most importantly, they really plump up your skin. But I would say if I had to choose between the two and I did choose this time, I liked Isn't Tree Hyaluronic Acid a little a bit more. For me personally, I chose this one to talk about today in the video because I feel like this will suit more skin types and I think a lot of people will love the texture. The texture is really nice. It has a very viscous texture, like a very milky kind of texture that soaks into your skin really nicely and I love how hydrating your skin feels afterwards and your skin feels really plumped thanks to those uh, eight different hyaluronic acids that it has in here. With the Mugworth one, one, it is um, as hydrating as the hyaluronic acid uh, water essence. Uh, price is really good too. 
everything's really good. But texture wise, it's a little bit different. And um, I would say the main ingredient here is mugworth, which helps to really protect your skin and to calm inflammation. And that will have the antibacterial effects and things like that. So I think if you're more focused in that and you want a product that will focus on the gentle uh, care for acne care and other concerns, the mugworth will be good. But for me personally, I think this is one of the best products that I feel like all skin types will love. It's a very simple product, but it really takes hydration to another level. So I think you're gonna love how plumped your skin looks afterwards and it's just really easy to use. I love using it for both day and night routine and I feel like um, for all seasons you're gonna love this one. And this does contain calming properties as well, like pentanol. And for those of you who often feel dryness or dullness of your skin, because sometimes the dullness is not because you're not using a vitamin C product or a brightening cream, the dullness can be a sign that your skin just needs more moisture and hydration. So it's just kind of letting you know to hydrate your skin. I don't need anything fancy. I just need some love from you. I just need some hydration. So if you do have these concerns, I want to recommend this essence. All right guys, let's move on to the next product. And this is my favorite product from Isn't Tree for anti-aging and for brightening effect. So this is the Isn't Tree TW Real by Fida Ample. And this is a really good anti-aging um, serum, I would say. The texture itself is super light and it soaks into your skin so beautifully really fast, but it does feel a little bit on the oilier side. But I love how hydrating it is. I love how it just locks in all that goodness. But the interesting thing is that this is an oil-free product. So this is a good, good serum that has high concentration of bifida ferment of 88%. And this is really rich in proteins, vitamins, and helps to strengthen damaged skin barriers. So if you continuously use this, you're gonna see like a healthier skin tone and healthier skin complexion as well. And it does contain really good anti-aging ingredients like triple peptides for wrinkle care. And as I mentioned, this is an oil-free product, non-oily ample for quick absorption. It doesn't have any uncomfortable feeling nor stickiness. Once again, I'm kind of new to this ingredient by Fida, but I love it. I've tried a few products um, that has the main ingredient as Bifida and it works really well with my skin. And I think if you are looking for an anti-aging serum that is not too heavy nor oily and things like that, this will be a great choice for you. Alrighty guys, let's move on to the next one. And this is something that I've already introduced before on my channel and I've been using it so much, especially during the summertime. For those of you, if the weather is very uh, hot, humid and summer, I think you're gonna love using aloe um, products. And this is Isn't Tree Aloe Soothing Gel, Aloe Vera 80% and I love this one. Now I'm kind of picky with my aloe um, gels just because some they sting. Like I don't know why, but like it doesn't work well for me. I mean, it's of course the formulation. It's not just the aloe gel itself, but the formula, it just doesn't work for my skin. Um, and especially when I do use aloe soothing gels, it is when my skin is irritated, you know, after a long day in the sun, when I know that I have a slight like sunburn or when my skin is heated, I love using it after a long bath. I feel like ugh, popping aloe soothing gel in the fridge. I just actually keep this in the fridge. And then whenever I need it after my bath and stuff, I take it out and I use it. And I love using this with with the cooler so it just has the best synergy effect just using aloes the soothing gel itself will calm your skin and will help to calm the redness down but using it with the cooler it speeds up the effect and i feel like coolers and aloe gels are the best combination so you've seen a lot of this on my channel for the summertime especially probably in my vlogs because i did use this a lot it has a really nice viscous texture very similar to other aloe gels um, it doesn't leave an uncomfortable feeling though that's what I like the most too. It does have uh, five different types of hyaluronic acids uh, to include that soothing effect and it has California aloe vera leaf juice 80%. So if you are someone that likes aloe gels as much as I do and you always use it during the summertime or you know when your skin is heated, this is a great product and it's humongo. It's 150 milliliters and you can use it for a long time with a really good price. So please do check this out for Black Friday sale. Okay, so I'm excited about this one. So this is the Isn't Tree Real Mugworth Clay Mask. I think I like a lot of the Mugworth line too, you know? I love Mugworth with the passion. But anyways, it's just a really good ingredient that goes well with my skin. It helps with a lot of the uh, concerns that I have, like redness, inflammation, and it does it in a really gentle way because 
you know, um, for example, like tea tree is amazing, but if you use like 100% oil um, or diluted oil of tea tree, like sometimes when you have high concentrations, it can be very irritating for your skin. So it is a great product for acne, but at the same time, if you use it wrong or if you use not good formulations, it can be even more irritating for your skin, right? Uh, but mugworth, even if you use 100% of something, or if, even if a product has a large amount of mugworth, it's just... It doesn't do that so that's one of the best parts about it and i think i love mugworth with the passion and that was my love letter to mugworth out of nowhere sorry but this one it just changed how i thought about clay masks i love it it does contain mugworth and it does contain clay so it helps to control sebum but it helps to calm your skin and i love how creamy this is some clay masks are so difficult to like spread but this one spreads so nicely it's so easy to control it's so easy to just like you know uh, apply with my fingers and even the curvy parts of my nose and things like that and it has six different types of clay that helps to dissolve sebum and it's huge it's 100 milliliters so you can use it for a very long time and a small amount goes a long way and it's not harsh like other clay masks that dries out your skin so i love love that so I love applying this all over my face. I leave it on for about 10 minutes and then you can just rinse it off with lukewarm water. Or what I like to do is I get a mist bottle with water and I mist myself and then I gently massage all over my face and then I rinse it off with water. I love that it helps to calm my skin, it helps to control sebum, but at the same time, it's not harsh nor stripping. So if you like the effects of clay masks, but you were looking for something more gentle and calming, I would wanna highly recommend this one. All right, guys, so let's move on to the last product. And this took me by surprise. This is the Isn't Tree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. Now, this is very simple, but I love it because it's like not a sunscreen. It doesn't feel like a sunscreen. It's not oily. It's not greasy. It doesn't have any white cast. It's completely transparent and it just feels so nice on the skin and it didn't cause any breakouts for me. Uh, it has a very, very light texture that I absolutely adore and it just feels like a very light sun gel or sun kind of cream or essence and it just works beautifully i don't mind applying a large amount of it everything just soaks in and i feel like a lot of people will really love it if you are looking for a light textured uh sunscreen that's not like a sunscreen and like the name itself, it contains eight different types of hyaluronic acid in here to lock the moisture. And it does have sebirum. And this is a really famous uh, plant in Korean traditional medicine to treat infection and irritated skin. I think it's called Portulaca oleracea in English, but I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But this uh, sebirum is really famous as an anti-inflammatory, antioxidant agent that uh, helps to heal wounds. So for those of you that's actually looking for a new sunscreen uh, for the Black Friday sale, I want to highly recommend the Isn't Tree Watery Sun Gel. And I'm someone that I'm kind of picky with sunscreens, so I don't do too many recommendations for sunscreens. But when I do find something that I feel like I like, that I apply often and that I don't mind reapplying, that's when I really recommend it to my unicorns because I feel like sunscreen is something that is the category, one of the best or most important products that we need to apply every single day for all of us with whatever skin concerns, with whatever skin types, whatever ages, we really do need to apply sunscreen. So I really like my sunscreen to actually be very, um, easy to apply because I don't want you to not apply it. I was so shocked because I saw this thing on a brand's Instagram IG and they were saying in a story like, be honest, if you don't apply sunscreen 365 days a week. And then a lot of people, it was like 55% or 60% said, I don't apply sunscreen every single day of the year. And I was very shocked. I mean, of course, if you are mostly home or something, I understand, but if you are someone that steps out the door, you do have to reapply. And for indoor activities, I think this will be perfect. It's SPF 50 plus, PA plus, 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 but it's not waterproof or like sweat proof. So if you're gonna go to the beach or if you are someone that sweats a lot or 
you work outdoors, of course you should use a different sunscreen that's stronger that will, you know, endure the sweat and all the water and stuff like that. But if not for daily activities, I think this is going to be amazing for you to reapply on top of your makeup too. I think you're going to love this one. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in until the very end. I really hope that you enjoyed the recommendations from Isn't Tree. And if you have any questions about the products or how to use this, please leave it in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm so excited that we're going to be choosing 20 unicorns to choose four different products uh, from what I've mentioned today. If you're curious, if you want to know, please check out all the details for the giveaway in the description below. And please do remember that a lot of different platforms are going to have really good deals for Black Friday for Isn't Tree products. So I will leave it all in the description below. Check the description. Thank you once again for tuning in until the very end. And I'm kind of sad that Black Friday series is over, but we do have one for all of y'all. So please stay tuned in. I love you guys and thank you and subscribe and like and hope you guys can participate in the giveaway too. I love you, my unicorns. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Annyeong. I need to go and do some Black Friday shopping. Bye.